Hi, this is Jana Sherwood with Century 21 North Homes Realty. Uh, and it's time for our um, Northwest real estate market update. This is for July of 2020 uh, for residential homes. And we'll be comparing um, those numbers, these numbers from um, July of 2019. So same time last year. Um, I do want to do a quick note and say that um, if you do want more localized numbers um, for your neighborhood, your city, your county, we can definitely pull those numbers for you so you have a better idea of what's happening in, in your local market. Uh, but these numbers are for the entire Northwest um, MLS. Uh, jumping right in, uh, median sales price is $500,000 on the dot. That is up 13.6% over last year. Um, even in June of 2019, it was 486,000 and it jumped up to $500,000 in one month, um, which is crazy. Um, days on market, uh, what that means is how many days does it take from a, um, a seller from the day they put their home on the market to the day they accept a contract from a buyer. Uh, and the average days on market is 26. Um, this time last year it was 27, uh, and that actually stayed stagnant from June of 2020 uh, at 26. Uh, month supply, uh, what month supply means is if no other homes come on the market, how long would it take for current buyers to purchase all available inventory? Six months is kind of considered a healthy balanced market. Um, so anything less than six months is a seller's market. Anything more than six months is a buyer's market. Uh, so we're still in a huge seller's market. Um, the number is 1.3, that's the month supply right now. So it would take uh, just over a month for available inventory to get all purchased up and you'd have nothing available left. Um, that is, uh, it used to be 2.3 this time last year. And in June of 2020, it was 1.2, so it actually increased just a little bit um, between June and July of this year. Uh, brings us into new listings. So we actually had a pretty big jump in new listings. Um, so we had 10,477 new listings in July of 2020. Uh, that's up almost 12% from last year. And even from June of 2020, we had 8,956. So even in one month, quite a few more sellers are putting their homes on the market. Um, I think those those sellers that would have sold, you know, a few months ago, are starting to feel more comfortable putting their houses um, for sale. Uh, pending sales, um, also a pretty big jump. Um, 9,954 new homes hit the market. That's up. 26% from July of last year, um, you know, way pre-COVID. So it's a pretty significant jump of, uh, of buyers um, going under contract with homes. Uh, closed sales, uh, 8,279 homes went under contract. Um, that's a decrease of 0.4% from last year. Um, so roughly the same um, in July of 2020, it was 7,039, uh, so quite a big jump in enclosed homes. On to our COVID-19 update, um, not a huge change, but um, King and Pierce County are currently in phase two. What that means is still no open houses, and there's a max of three people per um, uh, appointment. Um, all all interactions have to be by appointment only and a max of three people. So if you're showing a home, it would be the agent and, and the husband and wife, for example, um, or an inspector, one buyer, and then the agent. Um, so you kind of just have to make do with that three person max. Uh, masks are required at all times and social distancing protocols um, are required as well. Uh, Thurston and Lewis counties are in phase three. Uh, open houses are actually allowed in those two counties. They are extremely rare. Not many people are doing them for obvious reasons, but um, 10 people max is the current rule and that's for all appointments and for um, open houses. Uh, again, social distancing and a mask is required. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's everything. Um, there's a lot of information to take in, but if you have any questions, let us know. And like I said before, if you want the numbers for your 
um, more localized area, just let us know and we're happy to get those for you. All right, have a great day. Bye.